In this bit video, we're going to basically improve the design. Um, and we're going to start with the building itself and improve materials. Then we'll do some uh, work on some vegetation. And, and then finally, we'll add a few Quixel assets. Now, you'll have way more time than us. Now, I, I, I made a mistake last video, and I'll just show you what you want to do is uh, when I brought in the context, which is this, I, I needed to lower it. So I just basically select it and I want to lower it so we can see our nice grass and the arrows that we placed. Now, I only put one marker for information, but your students should have 10. So that way, when somebody's done the walkthrough, they've done uh, all 10 and have all the information they need on your site. Okay, so let's begin by looking at materials. Now, I already know that this model, I won't be able to do that much with it. Now, you may want to keep it as much as possible looking like the original, uh, but I'm going to have a little bit of fun here. And under materials, uh, I want something to do with a roof. Now, probably roof covering would probably be the best one. And uh, this one's kind of cool with this tile. I know that's not the original, but what I want to do is when I drag it on, you'll see, you, you see right away what it looks like. So I haven't, I, my finger's still on the left mouse button, but I'm just going to let that go. So that's what we're basically doing is we want to embellish this. Now, in some models, you're going to be able to easily select other materials. So where are these? It's under materials. And I'm going to try and get some stone here. And I want some stone that would look like something you would have on one of these buildings. And again, I'll be able to see. Uh, let's go with this one and let's just see what happens if I drop it. Now, you definitely want to zoom in because it may not look good. It doesn't look bad, but I don't think it looks better. So that's basically what you're doing with the building is you're going around. But I want to just show you, see this one here? Let's, let's pretend I had found a really nice stone here. Let's pretend it's this one. I'm going to just add it. I just want you to see what it does. See, it covers it up. So you can't do it there. You, you don't want to do that there. It worked with the pillars. It worked with the roofs. And each model is very different. It depends on what you brought in. And every time you add a material, just make sure, walk around. Yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that. For your model, you might want to spend a little bit more time. Uh, the next phase is the ve vegetation phase. So I'm going to go in here and maybe just to keep it simple, I just want to grab a couple trees and just place them. Okay. And, you know, I just want you to see that you can do that. And, you know, you want a consistent style and, you know, there's just so many here and you can change the tint of the leaves. Uh, you can do all this cool stuff. And, and But if you do do that, let's say I select one, I'm going to just alt uh, or is it uh, or is it shift there? If I click shift and drag, I can just basically make another instance. So I don't have to change the tint uh, of each one. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at two. So that's one thing that you can do with vegetation. Another thing that's really powerful is uh, you can actually, let me just go back here for a second. So vegetation paint, I'm going to go back. And what I can do is add some grass and flowers. So let's just see what uh, do I have here. So maybe I really like these flowers. I'm going to dra drag them in here. And let's say I want uh, some of these flowers. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is go back to my vegetation brush and I can actually grow, make this larger with uh, this thing. Okay. And you see what's happening is I'm basically putting down some vegetation here and I'm going to go and, and you know, every time you do something, look, cause it might look silly, but you know, I don't know. It looks kind of nice, some nice flowers. So when people are walking around, they're going to be, wow, look at, the, look at how nice it is here got some flowers all over and I'm going to just stop there. So you get a sense of that. You can do that. And that's a cool thing. So students probably would like two periods to do this. Usually they really love this part. Uh, and the last step is not just mega scans, but there's other objects you could go and get uh, to bring in. But this is really, really powerful. Uh, Quixel mega scans are uh, real scans of real objects. And I'm going to go right now to 3D Assets Historical, and I'm going to go to Medieval. Now, just be aware that whatever you bring in, it has to download to the computer. So let's pretend I want this one. So I'm going to click on it. Uh, and 
you just have to remember am I signed in that's really important so if, it won't work if you're not signed in so I am signed in now so I just click here and let's pretend I wanted this it does download this to your computer so if space is an issue you may want to avoid Quixel assets but these things are really accurate and, and, and really nice looking uh, but can definitely be a problem uh, if you don't have enough space okay so uh, and I, I was gonna just zoom in on it just so you can see it's just well I put so many flowers that you can't actually see it so you know and again with the six key I couldn't make this a lot larger or is it the five, six, seven key whoops wrong one and maybe I, I, for some reason I want some big forge there just to attract people's attention or to create some kind of ambiance so yeah it doesn't make much sense but I just want to show you that that's there and the flowers just make it look nice and I could have reduced the density because there's way too many but that's kind of uh, the iterative process that students can do and with the vegetation paint by the way um, just click on the brush here it's the same if you press the shift key it'll erase okay so same idea as so just click the shift key it should erase and you can lower the density here uh, a lot okay so there's some design there's a lot of things that you can encourage your students to do and uh, maybe collaborate with others and they can you know some nice rocks that's always a really cool way to you know make it look uh, easily uh, really good and quixel assets are really great but you might want to be careful with student projects if you do the inside there's a whole bunch of inside assets that you can do I'm not going to go into that but that is something else that you can add so if there's any questions otherwise go have some fun enjoy this it's a lot of fun and my students always love it take care